This, the first time TV cameras have been allowed inside one of the neighborhoods here in Fort McCoy. This, one of the housing units, now home to the nearly 13,000 Afghan refugees who arrived here at Fort McCoy. Our soldiers go in these buildings every single day to make sure that everything is taken care of and that the guests have what they need. It is transformed into a city onto its own, just weeks removed from the first refugees arriving in Wisconsin. So anything that they need, we provide it out of here and exit. Every neighborhood has one of these. Military uh, officials taking uh, 12 kind of news in a small group of journalists in. inside. To a classroom Thursday where Afghan children were learning English. To the Women and Children's Center lined with art. As you can see, they're just being kids having fun. Military officials in a choreographed tour amidst concerns and criticism from seemingly all sides about national security, the vetting process, and treatment of refugees at the base. They have got a great interest uh, in ensuring that they don't in any way uh, jeopardize uh, the process as they work their way through it. And then they've also got great interest in being wonderful citizens here uh, in America. For the first time, we met some of the children, women, and men who fled their native home. A vast majority, officials say, worked alongside U.S. forces and are now being processed and taken care of here. What would you say to those people who have concerns? Uh, I don't know why they, are, uh, they have concerns. We are human. We are human. We have some mistakes, faults uh, everywhere and I don't know why they are worried. Today, military officials wouldn't comment on any specific incidents involving crime, only to say there is a robust police presence on base and noting what they call a small number of incidents. And no other cases beyond the two federal ones charged last week have been referred to the Justice Department for charges. At Fort McCoy, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. Last week, federal officials announced two Afghan men had been charged in two separate incidents. The charges include attempting to have sex with a minor and domestic assault.